I'm just doing my little dance. Do, 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 do. I don't know what made me think it, but when you were doing that little bit of a dance, all I could hear in my head was mana mana. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. That's that's a, that's a good thing to to sing on a Thursday evening. Good 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 evening, everybody. Uh, it's six o'clock. It's the twenty first of January, twenty twenty one. So it's the twenty first day of the twenty first a year of the twenty first century. Is it not? And wow. it's my ex husband's birthday today, so happy birthday, oh, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. He's 55 today, which, given two years ago, I wouldn't have given you tuppence for him because he obviously died twice. <laughs> which so it's revived. Really, um, He's doing pretty it's well. Really symmetrical, then. Not only, you know, the date, but his age and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. It did amuse me. Especially when Jake messaged and said, oh, uh, what do you suggest I send Dad for a gift for his 60th? And I said, well, you've got five years to think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it was a significant number. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless him. I think when you've been dead, any number is a significant number, well, isn't it? Yeah. Too right. And to be grateful for. Oh, Helen Gibson's in the house. Hello, Hello. Helen. How are you? What's on your needles? What are you on with? I saw you'd finished your amazing jigsaw. <gasps> I'm so not worthy. What, what, have you, what have you got on the needles? Oh, I'm doing some headbands. Um, I did a little baby headband. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. And then, so I've just cast on another one. Is that some of your paint box yarns? Yeah, this the is the the baby DK. So this is a grey. I'm going to stripe it with two greys and see what it comes out like this time. Um, I've got loads of needles though because it's provisional cast on. Right. Okay. So it's a bit awkward at first, but it gets there. Yeah, Helen, you you put a big fat piece of yarn through, don't you? Instead of another needle. All right. I I like to just have the needle, and then when I finished, I just shove it through and away i go rita's in the house hello rita are we hello. have we got anything on the hook now that you finished your beautiful shawl uh helen says she's almost to the so the toe of a second sock <gasps> was this a, a is this the um colored one that we looked at last time oh yeah they were lovely weren't they absolutely beautiful and i see someone is wearing a knit oh this this, this old thing this old thing that i just threw on <laughs> it's been in the wardrobe for years actually it's strategically placed because i was cold this morning and i had a t-shirt on and i thought oh, i'll have a long sleeve t-shirt and put a t-shirt on underneath and then i got hot so i've taken the short sleeve one off but the only long one I had, now this is a long story and it's just a pointless story, but the only one I had was my Christmas fleece nappy dad. <laughs> so, so I just thought I'd cover it up with this old thing that I just happened to finish in the week. I, Do you like it? I thought you'd have um, covered that up with a post-it of impeach nappy dad. Impeach nappy dad. It did actually make me think of it when I put it on this morning. Do you, do you like it? Does it look good? I do. It's lovely. So uh, that's your Mila Mia Merino, isn't it? Is it double knit? That's. I think it's four ply, actually. That's beautiful like that. Really love that look. What does Isn't everybody good? else think? Doesn't she look amazing? I could get away with that, couldn't I? Actually, it could be a face covering. Or like a balaclava. Yeah, there we go. I still feel uncomfortable going into the bank with a mask on. I feel like I should leave with all the money. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that? Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? And especially um, if I, I went into college to take my laptop in to get it looked at. And because it was snowing, I had a hat on as well. So I still had my hat on indoors with a face mask. And literally all you could see was my eyes. And then the weirdest thing, I couldn't 
hear. Does anybody else find that when you've got a mask on, you can't hear? I don't understand. What? Hey? Right? <laughs> Honestly, is it just me? I think, I, I mean, it's obviously psychological. I don't but know. I, when I was having my uh, eye test last week and this guy says, so oh, I uh, shook me by the hand and he says that uh, I'm what sounded like Ethan. Oh, yeah. And I repeated it back and I said, Ethan. And he went, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. Is that a, a name your parents liked or is it a family name or? And it went natter in a way about this. And I said that was going to be Jake's middle name, but his dad didn't like it. He won the argument. And never thought anything more of it. And then I look at the signature on my prescription. And it says Lee Pen. So it's called Lee Peng. <laughs> Probably why, why didn't he just correct me and say actually it's sleeping this is how you spell it and i just thought great i know that now <laughs> so now i have to go back and get him to fit my glasses feeling like an utter chump <laughs> about it. oh no i remember you remember, remember me i got the giggles <laughs> you'll probably be thinking that's a bit strange that she was going to call her son that in his middle name it's a bit bizarre yeah I wonder if her husband's a diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, dear. So you got a, a beverage or anything? I've got a big mug of tea and I've got um, warming up to room temperature so it doesn't make my teeth hurt. Uh, I've got a tropical blast. It's sort of Aldi's version of lilt. Guess what I've got? Oh, what is it? Dead Man Fingers Passion Fruit Flavoured Rum with Lilt. Is it good? Mmm. I feel like I should be on holiday. Oh. Yeah. You'll have, nice. you have to watch Cool Runnings, either that or, oh, yeah. or sit in the bath and pretend to bob sled. <laughs> but yeah, oh, God. Um, so I was thinking about cardigans and sweaters and oh, whether, yeah. whether I should do a blanket. Can I be bothered to do a blanket? And I, I went back to kind of my favourite box to rummage through. And these are the yarns that jo, Joan Dyer sent me. They're all lamb's, uh, sorry, is it lamb's pride worsted? Okay. Brown, nice. brown, brown sheep lamb's pride worsted. This is like a deep peacock colour. And I've I've got some more of this in like on the skein or whatever. I'll send a pull ball. I've got another one yeah. there. Can you see? Oh yeah, that's nice. And then I've got slightly lighter shade. Is it blue? Tealy. Bluey greeny. And then we get to slightly more greeny. Slightly lighter greeny. Oh, wow. Another one there. And then more bluey, more of a teal. Did she not like the colour or something? She thought, I, I hadn't tried this yarn and it's one we discussed. And I never really thought any more of it until these boxes arrived. And it okay. was about two weeks before she died. Right. And then I've got this sort of lighter teal colour, which nice. work really well with those for like a gradient. Yeah, and then we go to this sort of minty, slightly darker than minty green, but then we end up with this, which is Ooh. pepperminty. I've got two or two of those. Okay, and then I've got three of this camel colour. Oh, well, that's nice as well. I like that. Yeah, so I'm thinking a cardigan colour blocking. I don't know. But plenty there to play with. Well, yeah, and I don't know whether I should do a blanket or something to or or what. I just Well, you know, it is lockdown. Officially you should be making a blanket if the last one's anything to go by. Well, yeah, but I usually crochet and I like to crochet with special double knit because having dogs, it's always good to have something that's really washable as opposed to this. It's not super wash or anything like that. So, it's much wasted as a blanket. 
it might. That's why I thought cardigan and I thought I could put the darker colours at the bottom because I've got that sort of peacocky shade, um, which is about the darker. Well, no, maybe that is the darkest, a forest green before the peacock. I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah. Ever so slightly. Yeah, one's more greeny and the other one's more bluey. Yeah, and amazingly, there's also this wow. two or three of this sort of denim -y blue as well. So I need to work in there somewhere, but I'm not sure where it goes on the sequence. <laughs> you have to do like a little swatch moving them around. Yeah, maybe. We just put the box over there because it's actually quite heavy. That is a lot of yarn. Uh, it arrived in two parcels in one large box. Um, and one was addressed to Jake with give this to your mother but don't tell customs. <laughs> one was to me. So they had to split the custom fees. But I still got hit with a whacking great amount on the customs mm. fees. But, that you know, that's the way it is. So I have a finished sock. Oh, wow. -wee. Mary D is the ultimate answer. I love it. Um, so called because every size is 42 stitches. Yeah. And it's got a nice cushy slip stitch heel and a nice two by one ribbing. Is that for you? It is for me. It's sadly, it won't fit anyone else. Oh, no. what a pity. And I've got well over half the ball of yarn left. So, so you'll be able to get the pair out. That's it's good. Starcraft Genie Aaron. Um, how I say that getting your pair out, I think. Um, well, yeah, especially, <laughs> especially after the other day with all that giggling. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those where, um, I think the color's called Memphis or something like that. I was walking in Memphis, yeah. I'm not really sure why they picked the color names they did or what the theme was that they were thinking of. It's beautiful, um, though completely baffled by the logic sometimes of the naming that these yarn companies do there is no logic that is the logic the logic is there is no logic so did anybody else make mary's socks any anybody else on those helen's on the second of hers what have you got that um is almost finished what are you going to make next i'm definitely I thinking cardigan i had planned to make twigs of winter and I don't know whether it would be too much if I did the sort of colour blocking fade. Um, I'll show you the pattern again. Go on, then. What does everybody think? Because there's a fair amount of track. Oh, that one, yeah. oh, I love that. Yeah, I just don't know how it will look with stripes and. Are the the fronts and the back are they all done in one piece or, or are they all done separately? It's top down worked in one piece and obviously split yeah. for the sleeves. So it would work if you wanted to do a colour gradient. Yeah. You could just give it a try and see how it looks. Well, yeah, I could do that. So I don't know, I'm I'm dithering, which is unlike me. Generally I'm I'm instant decision kid. Or at least, you know, give it a try and then decide. Yeah. And someone suggested that I try Mocha on some CBD oil for her arthritis. But apparently it's not licensed for veterinary use in the UK. It is pretty much everywhere else from what I can see. So I just wondered, had anybody else got any experience of that? I've just never, yeah. what? Uh, uh, no, we won't go there, no. <laughs> See, I, I've never, I'm not someone who's knowingly tried drugs of any kind, so I'm I, I, I appreciate that what they've done is remove all of the stuff that does the high and just kept the other chemicals from the, the medicinal plants. purposes. The medicinal stuff, the anxiety and pain and all the rest of it. Some would say that, you know, the stuff that they've taken out is the stuff that actually relieves the pain, as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should ask around. I'm sure there'll be lots of people using it. Um, 
I know my um, my aunt supplies it in her herbal business for a lot of her customers, and they absolutely wax lyrical about it. But I, I can't find anything really that. Can't you get that Holland and Barrett? Oh, probably, but it's about understanding what the dosage would be for a dog and how that would work for them, whether it's worth trying or whether I just keep her on the Rimadil. Me and too. Um, has she got the U move? Have you tried the U move? No. My friend swears by that for her Labradoodle. Mm, I'll have a look. I think I did look at it and then sort of went, how much? <laughs> she doesn't get hers through the vet, though, because mm. that does make a difference. Oh, Helen thinks that that cardigan needs to be in one colour. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think I'll ruin it if I mess around with it. So I do have some stash options if you'd like to help me choose. Go for it. So let me just... Um... I was actually thinking about you the other day when you started going sock mad. I thought, does that mean that he's going to be doing sock madness this year? no are you sure anything can happen it's 2021 no no i i assure you sock madness will never happen <laughs> not <laughs> not least because those those charming knitters no cases use four ply yarn fingering weight yarn not happening yeah, no no not happening so i've got some starcraft special wool aaron in the blackberry which i've used before for my mylin or mailin sweater oh yeah that's a nice color um and you might see it better on this one whenever the internet catches up you see how rich it is yeah so i think that might work because it's not overly heathery um the denim spot aaron i've got is just ivory cream so that, that again would work because it would go with everything, including dog paw prints. Um, so that's the only thing that makes me worry that. The Noro Kureon I've got, I really love the colours. It's got an olive green, a navy, various blues, shots of purple. And then every now and then there's mm. this screaming obnoxious lime green that I cut out that some people obviously love. Um, and I found eight balls of it, but the other 12 must be at Mike's. So that's off the list. I just find the name Nora a little bit disturbing. Yeah. Um, I think that's too busy. The Arachania oh, eyes then. Um, I don't think you'll see it. I've got two big skeins of this mustardy yellow arum nice. with wool. And that does block quite nicely. It's squeaky to knit with. Okay. Um, but once it's washed, it's really quite nice. I think the Pomer Multi, again, I've got loads of it, but I'm just too busy, I think. And, yeah. it, and it's in danger of purpling, you know, and I won't get yeah. back to it. I've got two of this spruce colour. Oh, that's nice. That I quite like. I think if you're going for that cardi, though, you need something on the lighter side. Helen says she joined Sock Madness a couple of days ago. See? There you are. Nutcases. I did Sock mad Madness two years ago. Um, hmm. I haven't got enough of the cranberry or garnet, whatever the colour is. more if you decided you wanted that one, though, couldn't you? I've got a ton of denim. Um, but it's not a colour that really suits me, so I think... I think that's got to be a no, and the rest were coming down to not having enough yardage. I could get some more of this oatmeal. I, I made a mail in with that. See, I think for me that's that's the best contender so far because it's it's neutral and it. Yeah. See how lovely it is. The little, and little tweedy it's bits, it's and it's not too busy. And you'd be able to wear it with everything. I do wear that sweater a lot. Um, at the moment, though, it's in the back of the bedroom, so it's a bit hard to get to. <laughs> well, you know, if you know that you need more of it anyway, you could always get more and start mm. with more before you dig out. Um, now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do you like, um, is it Mary Aranella? 
probably. Uh, where's the pattern? I'm sorry, I'm scrolling quickly for. Um, where is it? It'll be in my library, won't it? Yes, it will. Crochet knitting machine. Anyway, now the inaugural sweater, I think, is free until midnight tonight. Oh, wow, that is lovely. I would need to add hip shaping because I couldn't do with that gaping on my belly. I like it. But I think it's beautiful and I love the colours that people have chosen. It's like watching all the first ladies with all their different colours again, isn't it? It is. I thought Michelle Obama looked marvellous in that sort of burgundy shade. They were talking about the symbolism of the colours that the ladies were wearing. Right. And apparently um, Jill Biden's colour represents peace, harmony and togetherness. Oh, OK. Um, I wouldn't know. I've probably got it in a book somewhere. I've got, in fact, I've got a colour book to read that arrived yesterday. Oh, another it's one. The com complete colour harmony <gasps> uh, Pantone. It said it was a spiral bound. It's not. False advertising. Well, I've sent them an email complaining about it because that was the edition I wanted because I want to be able to lay it flat yeah um but it's got all of these color combinations and whether they're sort of urban or cool or warm maquillage is a beautiful french word that says more than the english equivalent of makeup paying homage to skin tones the world over oh which one are we looking at um well it's just a range of them it's maki so it's based on uh, this is the tribal collection. Oh, those are bright. And it gives you all the Pantone numbers, which if you go on the Pantone website, you can translate back to what's called a hex code for using in your graphic software. Is oh. it wrong that when you talk about Pantone, all I can think of is Panatoni, the Italian Christmas cake? It's not a surprise. So that this selection is called Piquant. So spicy, Ooh. spicy. They're a bit like paprikas and things. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if we've got any oh, delicate. That's definitely not you. Oh, that might be more you. What collection's this? Oh, casual. Look at the blue. Yeah, nice. Blues and browns. browns. Very nice. And I like the way that it, it's been used on the photo there. Oh, yeah. So very interesting. It's by Leatrice Eisman. And she goes into the sort of psychology of colours, which you can find in lots of books. I've got it in that book that's behind me there. Um, transcendent, yeah. whether it's romantic, robust, Ooh. clashing colours and things like that. So it's just lots of ideas about how to combine colour if you're not sure. Yeah about what you like or where quite to often people see um a pattern that they like and then they just want to do it in the same color as the designer because they're not confident enough to change the colors themselves that's the thing isn't it and I, I always find that a little bit sad because if they found the perfect color for them they just love it so much more what like blue oh not blue <laughs> <laughs> now the answer is always blue except when it's not blue mm. so I've got the crisps again. it's not crisps um i've got some merino silk it's gray mm -hmm. and i've got this sort of gray green it's left over from the baby cardigan i made for shana's little boy jesse reef earlier in the year if you remember okay. that one put those two together and i've got a lighter gray well, that's nice. And I've also got a warmer green, a springy green, like a leafy colour. And I'm thinking I might do stripy socks. But, but they're all double knit. And sock madness this year. Yeah. I'm not doing sock madness because I'm not going below double knit and I'm certainly not prepared to sit up all night knitting socks. You're doing your own little kind of sock madness at the moment, though, aren't you? Let's be honest. Yeah, it's as close as it gets, though. Mm. 
class mm. as it gets. I might join Helen with the sock madness this year. I, I haven't done it for a couple of years and it is good fun. You just tell them that you're really, really slow. Some people can do a pair of socks in 24 hours. I don't understand that. See, I, I think if I smoke the cannabis, I might be able to do it. <laughs> Space cakes, that's where it's at. Yeah, yeah, special brownies or something like that. I, I might be able to do it, but I cannot stay up late. Um, I mean, I've struggled. I had a, you know, the menopausal sleepless nights. I had a, a sleepless night the other night. It must have been Tuesday night because I had to get up to take Jake to work, and I was like, oh. And then the night after that, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to sleep really well. Still awake at ten o'clock been in bed over an hour thinking oh I am asleep and then a blink and it's five o'clock and he's yeah. like, oh what's going on so five o'clock tomorrow I think I, I should sleep really well tomorrow night and I may have a little bit of a lie in but he's changed his shift so right. he's when he started this new job this week they moved him to blue shift from yellow shift so instead of doing Sunday Monday Tuesday he was off and did Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. But on Sunday, he goes back to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday for four weeks. Right. But that's better for me because that means he works. Monday is at home because that's the college day. Yeah. And it means I've only got to drive Sundays and Tuesdays. That is better, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm just really, really chuffed. And it, I... I suppose it was a bit awkward this week because I'd made sure that parish parish council's always on a Thursday. I'd made Cumbria Lib Dems, which was last night's meeting, for the Wednesday to avoid his month, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which would have been his shift, and then they swapped it. <laughs> so, so now I'm all up in the air about do I carry on with this next four shift rotation? Or, or, ugh, I don't know. Because every time we get settled into something, they go, oh, no, you're moving team. <laughs> A bit unfair really isn't it let's be honest i suppose they're handling the situation the best they can aren't they um can i ask how many balls of yarn your shawl took and what was left over have you got like a little baggie of lefties no it was um five so you've got this creamy whitey color mm -hmm. 50 grams yeah Where's that gone? It's quite a bit. Started with five stitches. Uh huh. And then the grey, again, 50 grams. The light blue, 50 grams. Darker blue. And then the really dark blue. And I literally had, the most I had was about that much left of the colour. Right. Okay. So not much in the way of leftovers then. They just went in the bin. It wasn't, yeah wasn't worth keeping them so, so this, this is where we differ because i debagged them up and labeled it with the project name in case they had to do a repair uh see <laughs> i don't even think about that <laughs> well it's because i'm used to dogs hanging off everything i wear <laughs> my dog hangs off of it you'll be in trouble oh bless. Oh, yeah. it's really sad today so no, what do, what what do what do we think colour wise guys? Um shall I go with the purple or shall I go with the oatmeal? Oatmeal. For my um cardigan. We need a we need a, a vote, but I vote oatmeal. Just simply because I think that the pattern could get lost in a darker colour. Yeah, possibly. It it was a beggar to photograph, I have to admit. Hmm. You know with the cheap camera but with my iphone it probably won't be anywhere near as difficult yeah but with my previous phone camera it was awful yeah some colors are just a nightmare aren't they oh helen says oatmeal as well right so we're oh, going we're yeah. going with neutral then I shall, I, I shall have to order another um ball of the oatmeal but it's not expensive yarn is it so it's, and it is an essential purchase, isn't it? I it is that's, definitely. That's, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Definitely an essential purpose. My fairy lights just keep falling down. It's really disappointing. <laughs> is that a metaphor? 
I do not know. I really I think it's a metaphor for life at the moment. Life is falling down. I don't know. And I was tempted to do what my dad used to do with socks with Jake and make snaky. Oh, yeah, put some buttons on. Yeah, and um, there was the, eventually Snakey got a friend called Frankie who oh, yeah. was really cheeky and quite rude and used to tell people that they stank and, <gasps> and, and make rude jokes and had a really dirty laugh. Oh, dear. Uh, and when a cow would come in the other direction, Snakey would pop up and go, oh, no, it's going to hit us, and then jump down again. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it silly the fun you get from a sock <laughs> well you know I'm, I'm not going to pass judgement <laughs> anything can be interesting especially these days I mean like I said it's 2021 anything can happen well but anything good could happen I can't, I, I don't know about you but I, f I went to, to bed last night feeling hopeful yeah for what's felt like the first time in several years since um, old fart face across the pond came into power, the um, yeah, the bloated what's it? Our um, first ever orange president. Yeah, cheating Cheeto. Um, I mean, it, I don't know. It, the thought of somebody like that in control of the red button. I know, I know, that's what I was talking to Callum about. I quite enjoyed watching the ceremony. I sat and watched the news. It was on in the background while I was working all day long just because I was so interested in it. Um, and then because Lady Gaga, mm. it was so good. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to have to re-watch A Star Is Born because I love her. So I put that on this afternoon and then I flipping well regretted it, didn't I? Because I forgot how sad that movie makes me. I haven't watched the ending because I knew where it was going. I've been sitting blobbing this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I just... Honestly, it just it's the bit where she sings at the end. Gets me every time. See, I thought of you the other day when I was watching Bridgerton and one of the Featherington girls oh. sings this wonderful song. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to learn it. And I thought for a second... Did you think I was in the room? I did. It was like you were there with me. Did you shout my name? Did you say, where did you come from, Emma? You're not allowed to travel. Well, yeah, Alexa said it because, you know, she's always oh, right. she's always listening. Uh, Rita says oatmeal for that pattern, but she loved the purple. I've got several sweaters in that purple, Rita. I made two of the E's by Alicia Plummer, and I really mm. love it. It's so rich. The only yeah. thing with it is I have to be really careful about washing it. That particular colour seems to have a very fine white thread comes out of it. Oh. Uh, it can end up looking like it's been snowed on. And then you go over it with one of those lint shaver things. Yeah. And it looks brand new and fabulous. And, and then I'll wash it with a pair of jeans or something because I forgot it was in the bottom of the washer. Yeah. And didn't check and then it's snow white again and I have to uh, shave it back to purple. It's um, kind of something when you have to shave your jumpers, isn't it? It's the only one I have to regularly do that with. And I don't know if it's because it's a five and a half mil needle. And I think she recommended a six mil. Right. So I, I've knit at a tighter gauge. When I've done it at using a smaller needle, it's it's certainly been more hard wearing. I mean, I forget oh. to shave my armpits, let alone shaving my jumpers. But it's cheap as chips and it's got wool in it and it blocks and it's warm. So, you know, uh, Helen says since the Brexit vote, she's felt like that. Mm. Arita says she felt the same way. Yeah, I just it was like a massive weight lifted off my chest. It was lovely. And I, I hadn't realised how tense I was about the whole situation. And then listening to that young girl with, with her poem, uh, blubbing like a baby I was. Honestly, it's ridiculous. It's not even my president. It's not my country. No. <laughs> I know. I know. I, but you know what they say. America sneezes and the world gets a cold. Well, and the thing is that for likes of Kamala Harris, for little girls of colour the world over, She's an icon in the same way that Michelle Obama 
still is. Yeah, you know, it's it's an inspiration. It's it's. I love Michelle Obama. Her autobiography is still one of the best books I've ever read. I devoured that book. Really, really worth a read. What with ketchup or just? Well, you know, um, put it in the toasting machine first. It softens it down a little bit because yeah. it was a hard cover. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Butter. Yeah, butter. A little bit of butter. Actually, talking of toasties, I had this morning on in the background and he was making toasties. And I tell you, some of the toasties he was making, I wanted to get downstairs and do one straight away. Unbelievable. I think I'll leave the pea toasty though. Don't fancy a pea toasty. Oh. No, no, definitely not. No, I'm not with you on that. What was the ones that got you all excited and actually uh, he did, he did mac and cheese? right um he did one with lobster in which i can't remember which it was but he says you can get tinned lobster who knew um and the one that really 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 looked interesting was your typical um cheese onion i think it was onion no cheese ham and he put a, an egg on it cracked an egg on it put it in the toaster it come out like a perfect egg Wow. Yeah. So I think I'll be having an egg toasty for my lunch tomorrow. I would never have thought of that. I mean, I'd, I'd, I like to microwave my onions first. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I don't like them too crunchy in the toasty. Well, I get the frozen ones that were already diced up but frozen. So, yeah, you have to do something with them first. Otherwise, they're no good, are they? Because mm, um, I can't be doing with the old eye thing. When you're trying to chop up an onion who's got time for that so um i was kind of thinking when are we going to start cowlabunga oh because it's coming towards that time of year again is it mm. do you know i'm still stuck in march last year I honestly haven't moved on. I can't get my head around the fact that we are in another year and that we are at the end of January of another year. And who fancies Christmas in July? Because I think we'll be ready for Christmas by then. I definitely think Christmas in July has got to be a thing, has not it? What's the verdict? What does everybody think? Helen, how many patterns do you make on Sock Madness? I mean, I... I only want to know so that I can sit there and just think, yeah, I'm totally not worthy, but my goodness. You, you get sent, um, you, you have to send an email in to register when the registration opens at the beginning of February. Right. Say um, how fast you are for your knitting and what your skill level is and stuff like that. They, they'll ask certain things. And then they put you in teams. Um, you get sent a qualifying pattern. And I believe, if I remember correctly, you get two weeks to make the qualifying pattern. And then as long as you've done the qualifying pattern, you get all the other patterns sent to you, regardless of when you get kicked out. Right. And then if I remember correctly, I believe there was around about eight rounds and I made it to about the second to last round last time right so helen curzon says defo christmas in july because the gal is too late for her to get anything done yeah. um, helen says i've never done it so this is your first time in sock madness it is mad honestly so you don't know when the pattern's going to drop either so you just have to watch out for an email coming through and it could happen at any time and then you've just got to get your, your socks done as quickly as you can and send the photos. And then they'll ask you for certain elements. They actually say in the rules, be prepared that at the end of it, you may have a pair of socks that don't fit you and don't fit anybody that you know, because they'll say you have to make this size and you have to you know, make the foot this long and stuff like that. yeah 
and I'm telling you, right, there was there was somebody on my team. There was no way I could win. There was a lady on my team, bless her. She was brilliant, but she was retired and her husband did everything. So she sat in the chair when as soon as the pattern dropped, she literally sat in her chair, knitted and she showed you a picture. Um, and then there was um, like she had all her stuff to hand and her husband would just bring her drinks and snacks and stuff. And then she'd come on and go, right, I'm just going to go and get an hour's nap. And she'd go off for an hour, have a nap, and he'd wake her back up again, and then she'd be off again. I'm sorry, but that, that's just wrong. <laughs> so, I mean, it might, might work for her and good luck. I mean, her. honestly, oh goodness. she was brilliant at it. And obviously, her husband was amazing to do this for her. Because obviously, it doesn't go on all the time. You get breaks in between the patterns. I'm with you, yeah um and then so you you got on a team and up until the very last round you're against the people on your team so the slowest person on your team gets eliminated and then the last round it is just one person left off of each team and you get one overall winner wow yeah mm. yeah so what they do is they'll release they release um a list of the pattern so they'll say sock a needs um a solid yarn right a solid uh, sock b needs um two solid yarns in contrasting colors and um, they'll say this one needs beads and things like that so you can get ready before it all kicks off right but then you don't know what order they're going to come in so the first one could be sock d right and they and then they send you so you've got no idea it is fun it, it's fun in an in a crazy kind of masochistic way <laughs> yeah i'm I, mm. <laughs> okay yeah i'm not so sure you imagine i think it's the designers for them it's brilliant because there's so many people i mean i don't i don't know how many people are in the group and if they're all knitting your socks right um let me have a look because i'm in the sock madness group there are nine thousand and thirty eight members oh. obviously they're not really knitting your pattern right yeah it, 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 it's crazy but great fun at the same time i absolutely loved it the year that i did it Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I, I promise I will cheer you all on. And I want to see here all your updates of, of what you're going to do, um, pr you know, progress photos, all the rest of it. Rita and I will do that and cheer you on. Um, and I'm sure Helen Curzon will as well, and maybe Jackie if she's here. We will cheer you on and shout loudly and encourage you whilst I'm secretly thinking, you're mad. You're mad. I haven't decided 100% whether I'm going to do it or not yet this year. I think it yeah. depends if the lockdown's still going on, which I think it will be, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, I think you can safely say the the lockdown off at the beginning of march right so you get that you get february to sign up you have to send in your email and then it kicks off in march right okay yeah well it looks like ebay to get the oatmeal special aaron because oh is there nowhere else to get it my usual shops are sold out i'll have a look at kemp's in a moment and see if kemp's have got it in which case i'll really have to spend more money to get the free postage yeah because there's no point paying for postage you could just get another ball of wool well yeah so you know no brainer it's an essential purchase it's, a, it's definitely an essential purchase i mean it, it'll be a garment i'll just live in and then yeah. I, I sort of wanted to ask a bit of design advice, really, because I have a, a yeah. cardigan. I might have worn it the other day. I, I should go and grab it and show you what I'm talking about and how realistic and easy people think it might be to achieve what I want. Because I'm, I'm looking at the moment and thinking, Lorraine, you're mad. 
This sounds intriguing. Yeah, I can still hear you because I've got you on top volume on the. Oh, so I can't talk about her. No, sorry. I wanted to. I wanted to say something and say we'll get a knitting four ply socks, but. <laughs> Here we go. What's this then? So it's one of my favourite cardies. It's uh, I think it's Moda, which is one of Georgia Asda's special collections. Hi. So let's get my ears back on. But I really love the back of the collar. Oh, that's nice. With the pleating. And obviously, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to sew that. No. But maybe there's a way to do that with, like, reverse stockinette. Or I don't know. Because I don't want to have to iron it to make it pleat. This is ribbed fabric, I think. Yeah, one by one rib obviously lace weight yarn or something very fine thread how many of those have they put on there then the pleats yeah. one, two, no, three, no, bar bit. six seven pleats see those bars are there uh three so are they on the shoulder and the back of the neck yeah, back of the neck, and let me sh show you the shoulder line. Right. So that's the shoulder line. Can you? Yeah. Wouldn't work doing like a crochet chain across them or something. Yeah. Actually, this, yeah, it has just been sewn. But it's another piece of fabric over the top. Because right. if you look really close, can you see it's yeah that's not folded. Like a of fabric put on the top, isn't it? Yeah, like a tape. You could, you could achieve that with a crochet chain over the top of them if you wanted to do it that way. Mm. Not quite sure what you're trying to achieve. I want it to be pleat like that, and then drape down in the way that this does at the front. It used to have pleats. I think I think you're supposed to iron it. What's that mean? I don't understand. Should have come from bar. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que c'est? <laughs> Bad <a> problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening in this house. Not unless it's to do with sewing or knitting, no. Uh, so Helen says, if I had any chance of getting that much knitting done, I'd sooner have a sweater. Happy to get the pom poms out and cheerlead. Thing is, if you just do the um, the qualifying one, you don't ever have to knit any of the others. You just get knocked out in the first round, and you still get all the patterns. I mean, it's not officially in the spirit of the game. Yeah, all the patterns I'm not gonna knit. Yeah, that because they're fingering weight yarn. Yeah. Yeah, but they look pretty in your library, don't they? Uh, I don't think my patterns in my library lack for company. Should we? Do you want a running total of my? Um, of we haven't seen your library for a while. It was since pre-gal, I think it was the last time we saw your library. Right. Okay. Well, I'll share screen. Prepare yourselves for the awesomeness of my library. If it was a real library. Your room would be jam-packed wouldn't it so we're not looking at that total yeah we're not looking at that no no so those bernie's mittens i've seen those on insta today are those two separate different patterns that you've got there or or what what's going on what sorry bernie's mittens You've gone quiet. Have I? Can you hear me? I can now. Yeah. At the end, you know where you've got Bernie's mittens? Yes. Right, but you've got two of them. Because I've seen these on Instagram today. They're two, they, they're two patterns. Two completely different patterns. Yes. They're different colours as well. All right. 
but just inspired by what he was wearing basically yeah and they're thrummed by the look of it because they're rather thick right i like them i did see them on instagram um and i showed helen a pattern earlier didn't i and and thought the was that uh, the poncho -y thing yeah i was thinking i really need that yeah um let me find it let's go let's go in recently added patterns by category uh who is it asking if i'm still here yeah it, look look for a gif uh. there we are <laughs> Who's he? Probably drives better than I do. That one. Um, uh, was it a knit scene? I think it was. What was it called, Helen? knit scene on show it, it was from a collection winter something or other right so bear with me while i do the search in my bob the peaced poncho oh that was it because she had the ski pole things that she had in her hands didn't she yeah love it silly girl gets, gets in the way of the drinking <laughs> we only go skiing for the apres ski don't we in the hot chocolate yeah i do like the leggings as well though. they look like really good ones well, the, sle the sleeves are the same on her t-shirt as well is it a onesie is she wearing, is she it, wearing it might might be a onesie love it oh, it's not me heavy breathing the dog's just come over to say hello oh and it's just the right length on her oh. to um hide, hide the body as well I love the back. I really like the shaping on that because it makes the shoulders look wider than the lower portions of the body. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think it's beautiful. I really want to make this. Uh, worsted, 18 stitches, 31 rows in seed stitch. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. How much seed stitch is there? not oh just the slit loads. and then up the side panels um what well, no i think it might just be the uh, part of the sides and how much of the back it's those bits that are seeds too stitched. much for me i'd have to knit that plain i don't know i might rib it um I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still quite keen on doing that should we have a quick look at the rest of it um she's got other pa uh, projects sorry did she have any other projects um no because it's a magazine that's not even come out yet so oh, right, okay. patterns only appeared yesterday i thought this textured cowl was quite pretty as well maybe get a better picture how's that look looks like you could wear that inside or outside i think doesn't it yeah and I really like the colour, that sort of wheaty colour. Mm. Thought that yeah. was pretty. I like that. Oh, Helen says her poncho failed the make, to make the Miss Babs cut. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Helen. But that means you can self-publish. Woo woo! That's always good, isn't it? More control. Absolutely. Not that I've got any self-control whatsoever. Oh, do you want to look at the Telmark mitts? Actually, I, I was thinking it was cleverer than it was, but I'll show you anyway. Go on then. I was thinking, oh, I really like that colour work, but it's not. That's a that's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> and they're the mitts. So this is what you get when you overstyle something. Yeah, because we do that all the time, looking at everything else instead of what we should be now i'm just drawn to the fact that she's got very square nails and i wouldn't want to come across there if she wanted to scratch me with them mm. they'd have your eye out those well that and she's wearing next door's cat that's true that's so mean 
I mean, I've seen it's faux fur, but you don't know, do you? Mm. Uh, so yeah, I, I really love that poncho. I think that's fun. It is lovely. I would definitely have to do something other than the seed stitch, though, I'm afraid. Maybe you will do a poncho along at some point. I think more um, hats. Oh, Helen says she had a look for Malabrigo Rios, um, most colours out of stock. Mm. Yeah, That's it's true. really hard to get hold of at the moment. Um, all of the suppliers are struggling. Uh, really, really horrendous supply issues, partly because of Brit exit, um, but obviously COVID was bound to to have issues. Uh, first world problems, I guess. I eh? could be worse. well. Well, yeah. At least we can sit at home, look for it online, and go. Did your parents get their vaccination? Um, I assume so because I got a message saying we're back home. Okay. I really hope they have a rethink about this second dose. Because if it is only 33%, like they're saying, it hardly seems worth it, really. Um, I don't know. I suppose it depends whether you're the one that is in that percent that gets it, even though they've had their first vaccination. Oh, Helen, Helen Curzon says she'd love a poncho along. Oh, we'll have to do one. Yeah, I'll have to design one. <laughs> uh, I have written it. I've actually written everything out for a wheat sheath poncho and not made the sample. So <laughs> could, that would be a good time. Yeah, that, that's one I need to do. You know, and we could all make you some, some test knit ones. Um, well, and, and I think um, Helen's poncho design as well. We could maybe do a... A sample poncho along. Yeah. Why not? I'll just part one another. Long. Are you are you panting again? I'm sorry, it is warm in here. <laughs> it's when she stops and sticks her face in the water dish and goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really distracting. Sorry. Oh, Helen Curzon says she's got quite a bit of Rios in stock. Oh, um, don't just rub our noses in it. Oh, she says, come on, ladies, it's a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> wheat sheaf would be lovely I just, I just think we can just have a poncho along and you can choose whatever you like but but you know that that's it for me um we're going to do cowlabunga we will discuss backstage about what dates whether we Ooh, start we'll get to go backstage. in february or not um what else and then i think we need to plan for christmas in july and who, who else is up for that um who's got Christmassy patterns and so yeah, we'll have to do I've some got, more thinking I've around got that. Christmas things, but I think it's more. It's, I'd like to get ahead of some gift knits because I usually use the gift along for selfish knitting. Mm. So socks and stuff like that that I can send off to people for presents would be quite nice. Because otherwise, right. Would you... right. Well, but let's let's do some planning and maybe chat more about that on Sunday with everybody and see what ideas we've all got and yeah, have a think about what we can do for that summer sort of gifting if gifting in July, Christmas in July. Just get get ahead. I don't know. Think about it. Anyway, yeah. it's time for you. To Thing. I've got parish council in half an hour, so we've got to what sort of finish. Um, isn't it going to be, oh dear, what could the matter be? Um, in the, 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 the Bridgerton thing. I have to warm up. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I think I know the. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, right. we're going to do the countdown. Four, yeah. Three, two.